Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Orange's Big Adventures, and um, today uh, I had been planning to take you guys to um, Jeb's house to see what he's like. Uh, a lot of people are curious about what he looks like without his little hat and it turns out that he is uh, in a playable family. So I was going to take you there but at the moment I didn't think I had anything interesting to record so I was just taking care of some of Orange's needs before I you know uh, go over there and right now she is running for Morgan who is about to leave uh, so he she can uh, I think tell her an engaging story or something. But the reason why I was wanting to record is because, oh my gosh, where did she? I was at this bar grabbing free chips and all of a sudden this thing appeared and it was, what? It just came out of nowhere. He's my fan, Jenkins Pyth Pythagoras. It's so, I can't talk to him because he's a young adult apparently, but yeah, this random robot just spawned and I thought that was interesting. <laughs> So yeah, um, I guess Morgan wanted to leave, so we said goodbye to her, and um, just gonna go up our social bar a little bit more before I invite myself over to Jeb's house. Um, I had brought my friends here so we could up the social bar, um, but I think I think everyone's left. Yeah, even Jeb's gone now after um, after she ran after Morgan, so. We're just gonna go see Jeb then. Oh wait, Jeb, uh, Morgan's back. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna hang over, hang out with uh, Morgan a bit, and then we'll go to Jeb's house. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. <laughs> oh no, get off your phone. Okay. Yeah, we should go on a little date with Morgan. Y'all, these fans are really ruining everything <laughs> there's so many of them i'm not that famous guys <laughs> so it seems like it's ghost night right now um this is so wild i really just wanted to hang out with my friends and get some chips but there's so many people in this bar right now and all these people keep coming up to me and fainting I don't know what is happening, and all my friends have left. So even Morgan has uh, left. I guess it's getting late for her. So I'm just gonna try to get my fun bar up. Can I talk to ghosts? Would ghosts tell my parents where I am? I don't think that was a rule. So, oh my God, they're gonna have their first kiss in front of all these people and ghosts. I really know how to set a scene, I think. <laughs> um, and at the same time, she's watching TV, so her fun bar is going up. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Yay, young love! That, that ghost lady just walked through us! <laughs> uh, moment's not ruined. Luckily, uh, Sims don't really care. That was super normal. <laughs> Yep, more people walking right through us. Totally fine. The one really good thing about Sims 4 is that the Sims are so much better at multitasking. I uh, noticed I was talking to Morgan, watching TV, and eating chips at the same time. It's just incredible, they've come so far. Alright everybody, uh, we are finally traveling to uh, Jeb's house. I found it. It is in the um, eco-living neighborhood um, of... I forgot the name again. <laughs> but here, let's take a look at his family background. It's a big family. Cletus and Faye found this heritage home in Grimm's Quarry for dirt cheap. Nothing seems wrong with it, and the Harrises weren't about to question a good deal. Uh, Cletus? Cletus? Cletus's free-spirited mother soon joined them, completing the big happy family. Mysteriously, their eldest son always wore a shameful bag on his head. Also, it doesn't seem like any of them other than Faye has a job, but the house is well furnished. What's going on here? You guys, we have some kind of conspiracy. Um, it seems like there's a mystery afoot at the Harris household, so... Um, I've never met any of these people and we are not allowed to talk to any of these adults. 
Uh, so where are they? So Francine, the grandmother, is at home. Um, mom's home, but dad is at Planet Honey Pop. It's a karaoke bar, I think. Um, and little brother is for some reason at Hazakura Lounge by himself. So interesting, eh? Uh, I'm just gonna invite myself over and see what happens. All right, here we are at the Harris house. Uh, everyone's out here. There's a bunch of garbage outside. Um, Jeb is not here. Is the garbage in their yard? I don't- I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh, don't talk to me, sir. Nice barbecue. This is like one of the expensive ones. What is going on in this house? From the way that Jeb was dressed, I didn't expect his family to be well off. So, I'm not really sure. Let's see if he's home. Oh, Jeb's right here. Okay, awesome. Hey, Fran. You're not going to school either, eh? It's only 2 o'clock. You should be at school, actually. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can take a look at Jeb's other outfits. Surely doesn't wear a bag when he swims. Yeah. Jeb, I want to see your sleepwear. Wait, you wear the same thing when you sleep? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeb, you still wear this bag? Okay, let's try that again. Alright, Jeb, uh, show me your swimwear. Surely you don't wear your bag when you swim. Oh. What? what? Who's this? They just gasp at that random person. Oh my gosh, stop talking to his mom. Jeb is like pretty jacked. <laughs> Jeb, oh my god, there's so many people talking at the same time. This is madness. I just really want to see you without your bag. Is this your swimwear? Show me your swimwear, girl. Bon and Gravy? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes! <laughs> Is this it? You're still wearing your bag, sir! Alright. In that case, you guys, the only way to see what. <laughs> The bag change. <laughs> oh my god, that face is so good. Oh, I didn't realize that bag was expressive. Does that mean there are like multiple different bags? That's amazing. Okay, I gotta go see his other outfits now. Um, so, uh, does he work out in? I just wish his mom would go away. This is, I know I'm breaking the rules right now, but it's just I really want to see what Dread looks like. Okay, it's still that shocked bag. Okay, as I was saying, um, I think what I got embarrassed. It's because I saw Jeb in his swimwear <laughs> in front of his mom. Let's get out of this conversation. As I was saying, I think the only way to see what Jeb looks like without his bag is to actually go into a create a sim. So I'm gonna go take a look at that. Alright guys, I am in create a sim. Here's Jeb! Wow. Okay, before I reveal the face, I want to go see if that bag is actually an item that any sim can wear because I've really never seen it before. But again, again, like I don't have my Sims wear hats very often. Oh yeah! Wow, that's a kid's version. Cute. I got how his little brother wear that. Let's see if his um, mom or his dad has that option. Oh, here it is. It's the eco living bag. Okay, and there's like a bunch of different ones. <laughs> Wow, that's really funny. Alright, I don't want his whole family to do this because then I want him to be kind of special. I'm gonna take, take that off Gideon as well, actually. Oh, this is 
this small child named Gideon. So weird. Alright. So, I'm just gonna take a look at all of Jeb's outfits. <laughs> he wears different bags for different outfits. That's amazing, guys. Alright. Are we ready for this? Let's go. Oh, look at him! He's got bushy brows. He looks like his dad. <laughs> oh, he shouldn't be hiding. He's like... Just a... A cool teen. <laughs> With freckles! Alright guys, so just a quick jaunt into uh, the different wikis that exist on Google. Um, we don't really know a whole lot about Jeb. The thing that he could be ashamed of uh, is either his family, who as we saw might have some sort of secret. Um, but one person also suggested that it's actually his freckles. So when we took off the hat, we saw that he has some freckles, and I saw um, the picture of him online had way darker freckles, but he's also the only Sim in his family that has freckles as far as I can tell, so this could be something that he is ashamed of. Um, I don't know, not so much that I feel like he has to hide his whole face though. Either way, uh, yeah, in his everyday outfit, he's also, like, barefoot, so it's possible that he is ashamed of his family situation. But I'm still just really intrigued about what that situation is. Um, one other very interesting thing that I never noticed is his trait, or his aspiration. He wants to find the one, and he's a really good boy. He's just very gloomy. <laughs> Jeb is so cute, uh, so I really, I hope he'll find the one and I'm probably, probably we're gonna help him achieve that because I think he's gonna be a big part of Orange's life. When Orange, probably when Orange moves out, I want to take Jeb with her just because they, um, you know, they seem, they neither of them have a place they belong in. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe he could be a, a roommate of some sort. And that's Jeb, guys. Now we know. He's a handsome boy. <laughs> Alright guys, someone in Jeb's family is just making cake, so I'm gonna just take over casually and feed myself. Since I'm here, I don't think Jeb will mind. Um, yeah, let's take a look at his house. It's actually quite nice. Like, he has a large TV. Um, let's go up to his bedroom while Orange cooks. He has a nice room. That's like a nice bed. Huh? This is an appropriate place to stop. Oh no! What did I do? Is Jeb mad that I'm cooking his food? Well, we're still friends. It's okay, right? I don't know. He's not coming to talk to me. Is it inappropriate to cook? What am I doing now? What's happening? Is mom cooking? Oh no, everyone's telling me I'm being inappropriate. Ah! So sorry, Jeb. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd get called out. <laughs> uh, let me just gossip with Jeb then. Because uh, it looks like mom's cooking anyway, so hopefully I'll get some food. Look at all these unmade bowls of food everywhere. <laughs> Mom and grandma, they keep cooking and then giving up. And then if I take over, they're like, this is inappropriate. Girl. <laughs> okay, grandma's continuing cooking. It's taking them hours to make these cakes, I think it is. <laughs> Why is no one? They're just in the kitchen. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll try to have, I'll try to have a snack in here. Since people won't cook. I mean, I'm a guest. Is it inappropriate if I just take some cereal? Oh my god. Okay, I guess it's fine. But full on baking a cake is bad. Alright, is Jeb gonna take over for his grandma? 
Look, they're all starving too. They're just like... <laughs> now they hate me. <laughs> oh my god, Grandma hates me. Yes, Jeb, please cook. Oh, don't talk to me. Who are you? Gemma? Where are you, Gemma? What the heck? What the heck? I don't want to talk to Gemma. Oh. A teen. Hello. Oh. Eat those crackers, girl. Why are you flirty? How come everyone, everyone I talk to is is flirty? There's just something about orange, I guess. <laughs> so oh, Jeb's here too. Hello. Oh my gosh. Should we like hook them up? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about Angelina yet. She doesn't earn anything from me. Inside joke. Yes! Yes, I finally lost one celebrity level. It's taken so long. My god. I'm very irresponsible though. Look at that. <laughs> I might I might receive a bad trait. Ooh, I, I gained a sentiment from Francine. Ooh, we have a grudge. <laughs> it's probably because y'all ain't cooking for me. Alright, since it's okay, I'm gonna take more food from Jeb's family's fridge. Let's have some cereal. Jeb, why are you uncomfortable? I feel better, dude. All right, you full? Okay, orange. We're gonna go. Oh, or should we take a shower here first? Okay. <laughs> I know I'm really taking advantage of Jeb's family, but I think I will take a fa uh, the shower first, if they don't mind. Hopefully, Jeb won't hate me after this. I don't think that's particularly inappropriate, right? <laughs> Okay, enough is enough. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. This has never happened to me before. I didn't realize you can get kicked out of someone's house. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh no, Orange. <laughs> that action was queued up. Ah, don't watch me. Oh my god, Creeper. Yikes. Okay. That was bad. So, you know what? We're gonna put up our tent right out here. <laughs> Gotta say, Jeb's family is not really into the hospitality thing. Where's our tent? Put your tent out, girl. There we go. Right on the sidewalk. Let's go. Go to sleep. It's gonna be cold. You are gonna be upset, but that's okay. <laughs> Shades of schadenfreude? <laughs> I love that. That's a thing. Holy crap! Holy crap, that lightning scared the shit out of me. Yo! My tent! I didn't grab my tent. Orange just like freaked out. Um. Okay, I remember when Cam forgot his bicycle, it just automatically went back to his inventory, so hopefully the tent did too, because. I can't afford another tent. I mean, I can, but that's like such a big chunk of my money. It's like 400 simoleons, guys. And my tent didn't come back with me, so. That is such balls. You guys, what a struggle. I was just so excited that it's um, love day. I was like, oh, I'm gonna take Morgan out and I'm gonna um, have fun. But now I gotta go get my tent and then 
We'll see. We'll see how orange feels. Guys. I think what had actually happened last night was my tent was struck by lightning. So this is useless to me now because I can't even go in it. So that's why Orange ran away and went to school because her tent is gone. I don't... <laughs> I don't... 400 the most I don't even know if it's worth it like I'm gonna see if it is worth replacing I think I guess I'll just leave this here because I can't do anything with it um and because I I think the most efficient way is to just focus on getting more money so that we can build our house so we don't have to deal with this shit like this um yeah it's just what a tragic loss I, I, that's a huge setback if I had to replace it, so. Uh, what a shitty love day. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here at the Spice Festival of Morgan. Um, I want to do some love day stuff because it seemed cute, but the flowers cost a lot of money and I can't afford it. So instead we're gonna try to get here. It's like an impromptu date. She's gonna have a bad love day, but um, I don't care. I wanna get some free food. So let's try to eat some curry that she's gonna hate. Oh wait, there's plants here. All right, I'm gonna harvest all this. She's so, so tired, but that's okay. Oh, I don't even have to eat this stuff. I can just eat this baked potato that's randomly here. Hell yeah, people be baking or barbecuing. Can I harvest anything else? Ooh, strawberries. Yes, yes, yes. I'll take everything. Parsley. Ooh, the sage. Cow plant berry! <gasps> I don't think I can plant it yet, but... But I'll take it. The okay. important thing is I got that cow plant berry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes! Alright guys, we are just woken up from a bench nap. Um, love day is going awful. I don't even know where Morgan went. Um, so we're gonna try this hookah. <laughs> this, uh, bench, this, this bench life is not a good life, guys. I really miss my tent. Um, I don't know. Should I just buy a new tent? It just feels like such a huge investment. Um, maybe I can afford it once I have- I plant all of this stuff here. Ooh, a new frog. Oh yay, Morgan's still here. Yeah, I, like, I took her all the way here to this spice festival and just like, left her alone while I napped. Yep. Hey guys, I'm just taking, um, Orange out for fishing. And uh, she's been catching a lot of good stuff. So look at all the money I've been making. I'm almost, almost tempted to buy another tent, but at this point, it probably might not be worth it. So um, I just caught a an amethyst, and I just realized that there's like other qualities to these rocks. Um, I'm not sure really what it means. I uh, just see that <laughs> it can recharge skills, uh, hunger for kids if you put in a crown or something like that. So I wonder if I can buy a celestial crown in the future. So I was tempted to, to sell it, but now I think I might keep it just to see if I can do anything else with it. You guys, I was just about to head to the festival, but I just caught a cow plant berry. Um, it's my second cow plant today. I think Orange is gonna get rich. <laughs> so I just went off to the children's festival, but there is a full-on blizzard here. So this was a terrible, terrible idea. Um, I guess while I'm here, I can try to get some food instead. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything here to eat, though. There is a- oh, there are vending machines. That's so weird. And okay. 
I, I even brought all my friends with me. I feel a little bad, but they've all disappeared, so... No. Okay, uh, hot miso soup, eight, spicy tuna melt. These all sound really good. Ooh, fish taco is only three. I'm gonna buy two. <laughs> That's a good, good value. All right, I'm gonna eat that. Probably need the two anyway. Don't know where all her friends are. Oh, it's a little Kotetsu. It's so cute. I don't know how I feel about Orange putting her to her taco right on, right on the table. Oh, there's a book here. Can I take it? That would be good for some, like, emergency fun. No. Oh, come on. Put <laughs> Orange does not own this item. Darn. Alright, let's... Orange, Mom. can you not? Eat some more. I actually have to head home to uh, plant this cow plant, so... This, uh, this, uh, this money machine's good value. Looks like it's filling her up a bit, too. Oh, but should we head in here? Let's go to the hot springs while we're here. It doesn't seem to cost anything. Oh, she needs to pee soon. Hope she doesn't pee in there. <laughs> That'd be really awkward. I guess none of our friends are actually here. Maybe they all went home. Oh, there's Morgan. Yay! Can always count on Morgan. Oh, and Jeb! The important people are here. Oh, Mara's coming too. Heck yeah. And darling, yay, the gang's all here. Wow, darling's just full on wearing his basketball jersey to go relax in <laughs> in uh, hot springs. Guys, so we are back in um, Orange's quote unquote house. Uh, so we have our two cow plants here. I'm very excited for them to grow. Uh, so hopefully we can make more money. Uh, this is our spoils for today. I have, I have my super messy garden. I'm gonna rearrange that. And, um, I think I, I was gonna wait till 3000 to build a house, but because of this tent situation, I feel like it's a little bit more urgent. So I feel like I'm gonna try to just do it. I'm going to try to build a house, uh, and again, according to the rules, it has to be, um, it has to have everything I need, so I need a bed, I need a kitchen, I need a bathroom, so we'll see, because even like a very small square shaped house of just the walls can cost quite a bit, so we'll try our best, well, we might have to have that outdoor bush, um, but you know, that's that's a really good way to cheat. And worst comes to worst, I have my walls and I have my tent outside. That still counts, right? So, yeah, when we come back next time, hopefully I can give you guys a house tour. But that's it for now. Bye.